Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Age Origins. So in the last episode, we finally recovered the urn of sacred ashes. We took a little bit of the ashes to take back to Red Cliff to the Arl, so that's what we're doing today. We'd also gotten to go back to camp to kind of talk with everyone and let our injuries heal because I didn't know that was a thing. So do I just run off over here again to travel? I think so. Yeah, okay. <sighs> okay, so obviously taking yes. Alistair. I really like Zevron, like I'm torn because I love Liliana. And I love Zephron, but I like yes. elves, so I'm so sorry. And now I'm torn, because Wynn is super useful, but also beefy boy. You know what I'm saying? But like, oh no, I'm so torn. I think I have to take beefy boy. I'm sorry, Wynn. Like, I love everyone except for you, Morrigan. Like, you can stay away. That I don't mind. But everyone else, I'm just so torn on because I like them all. But all right, let's head back to Redcliffe. Hopefully, oh, I was about to say hopefully it was going to be all peaceful, but it does not look like that's going to be the case. Where am I? Old Tegrin? Oh, okay, hello. Can I talk to you? You have a coin, go. stranger? The doors of Mar closed off. Old Tegrin can give you a discount. Fine weapon and arms, dwarven made. Oh, what's going on in Orzammar? There's two things I'm here for. Travel or trade. Understand? Okay, let's see this discount of yours. Why does this seem kind of sketchy to me? Is it sketchy? I don't know. Uh, you know, I I think I'm okay. I hope I'm okay. I don't know. This could be a mistake. I don't know that much about items yet in this game. I'm just a little wizard. Uh, I'm just going to keep going. Do I just turn back around? <laughs> Let me out of here. Okay, well... I feel like that was probably a mistake to not get anything. That was probably pretty good. But you know, what can you do? Do I look like I know what I'm doing in this game? Because I, I do not. I usually don't seem to actually understand a game until like my second playthrough, then I start kind of getting it, you know? Though I guess this technically is my second playthrough, but um, <laughs> didn't get very far in the first one, so I don't think it counts. We have dogs in Antifa. They run in the streets and eat garbage. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's true. They're treated as vermin, mostly. Not like here in Ferelden. You're rather lucky to live here, you know. Don't scare beefy boy. Indeed. Here they make statues of dogs. They carve you into their thrones and put armor I on just them. love how everyone Amazing, talks really. to beefy boy. But you still smell like a dog. In fact, <laughs> you smell like several dogs. I don't... I don't quite know how to get to the castle. It probably would have helped if I actually traveled to the Red Cliff Castle, huh? <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm here now. What's it matter? All right, let's do this. Finally, I think this is the last thing we have to do for Redcliffe. I hope. And then I kind of want to move on to the Elven area. Cause that's what I've been looking forward to. Ah, here we go. You return. Might you have news? What is Arl Eamon's condition? Unchanged, I'm afraid. We've tried more magical healing, but nothing works. As time passes, I become more and more convinced the urn might be our only hope. At least he hasn't gotten worse. I found the urn. You have? Wonderful. Let us go at once to Eamon's side and see if the urn's healing powers live up to their reputation. Please. If this is all in vain, I'm gonna hurt someone. Oh. Okay, okay. We did it. Where am I? Be calm, brother. You have been deathly ill for a very long time. Do you remember nothing? Tegan? What are you doing here? Where is Isolde? I am here, my husband. I'm Connor. Where is my boy? Where is our son? He lives. Though many others are dead. There is much to tell you, husband. Dead? Then... It was not a dream. Much has happened since you fell ill, brother. Some of it will not be easy for you to hear. Then tell me. I wish to hear all of it. All right. This is most troubling. There is much to be done, that is true. But I should first be thankful to those who have done so much. 
Grey Warden, you have not only saved my life, but kept my family safe as well. I am in your debt. Will you permit me to offer you a reward for your service? I need your help against the Blight. That will do. I understand, but regardless of your motivations, I feel you are worthy of a reward. I would like to honor your efforts. Nothing more. As you wish, then. Then allow me to declare you and those traveling with you champions of Redcliffe. You will always be a welcome guest within these halls. Well, I should and hope for so. for you, Warden, a shield of the same make as those that have been given to our finest knights. I'm a mage, but I'll be nice. Thank you, Your Grace. We should speak of Loghain, brother. There is no telling what he will do once he learns of your recovery. Loghain instigates a civil war even though the Darkspawn are on our very doorstep. Long I have known him, he is a sensible man, one who never desired power. I was there when he announced he was taking control of the throne, Eamon. He is mad with ambition, I tell you. Mad indeed. Mad enough to kill Caelan to attempt to kill myself and destroy my lands. Whatever happened to him, Loghain must be stopped. What's more, we can scarce afford to fight this war to its bitter end. What are you proposing, then? We have no time to wage a campaign against him. Someone must surrender if Ferelden is to have any chance at fighting the Darkspawn. Oh, but once everyone learns what he's done... I will spread word of Loghain's treachery, both here and against the King. But it will be but a claim made without proof. Those claims will give Loghain's allies pause, but we must combine it with a challenge Loghain cannot ignore. We need someone with a stronger claim to the throne than Loghain's daughter, the Queen. Are you referring to Alistair, brother? Are you certain? I, just I like... would not propose such a thing <laughs> if we had an alternative. But the unthinkable has occurred. Oh no, that's so mean! <laughs> you intend to put Alistair forward as king? Tegan and I have a claim through marriage, but we would seem opportunists no better than Loghain. Alistair's claim is by blood. And what about me? Does anyone care what I want? You have a responsibility, Alistair. Without you, Loghain wins. I would have to support him for the sake of Ferelden. Is that what you want? I... Mm. But, but I... No, my lord. I see only one way to proceed. I will call for a landsmeet, a gathering of all of Ferelden's nobility in the city of Denerim. There, Ferelden can decide who shall rule, one way or another. Then the business of fighting our true foe can begin. What say you to that, my friend? I do not wish to proceed without your blessing. Duh. <laughs> I mean, I say we proceed with your plan. I don't know what else we'd do. Very well. I will send out the word. But before we proceed, I believe there is the matter of the mage, my son's uh, tutor. Yes. He still lives, I understand. He does. He is in the dungeon, brother. Have mm. him brought here, Tegan. I wish to see him. What you doing to John? Jowan, what you have done is not in question. You tried to assassinate me and set into motion a series of events that nearly destroyed everything I cherish. What have you to say in your own defense? Nothing, my lord. Other than to say I am sorry. I expect no mercy for what I've done. I see. Grey Warden, have you anything to say on Jowan's behalf? Why me? Ask Beefy Boy, I don't know. He was once a good man and a friend. I, I guess, was he really? I don't know. I don't trust that guy. Look at him. Well said. You show more loyalty, perhaps, than he would in your shoes. And what would you have me do? As the injured party, my ability to see the merciful path is strange. Then I told him earlier that it was completely up to them. Oh no. I give him to the circle of magi like they're looking for him too. Hopefully that's not a mistake to say. True enough, and wisely said. Jowan, I hereby turn you over to the tower of the circle of magi. May the maker have mercy on your soul. Thank you, my lord. And goodbye, my friend. Now, back to the matter oh, of the land. It will take some time to recall my forces and organize our allies. I would prefer to wait until that is done before calling the landsmeet. In the meantime, I suggest you pursue the remainder of the Grey Warden treaties. We will need all the allies we can get if we are to defeat the Darkspawn Horde. All right, well, I think we only have two more of those, right? Ooh, we can level. Oh, did we just never choose a spell? Hmm. I thought we chose this. 
Okay, so we need to go to Orzammar, which is the dwarven area. And then we need to gain the cooperation. Is it Dalish? I hope it's Dalish. Which are the elves? Which is what I want to do. So that's what we're going to be making our active quest. And I am so ready. Let's get out of here. Oh, yeah, they gave me a shield. I should see if that would be good on Alistair. Surely it would be. Requires 32 strength. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll have to wait a little bit then. But Saros definitely isn't using it. Okay, I'm assuming that the elves are in the Brazilian outskirts. That's my best guess. Hope I'm not wrong. <laughs> oh no, what's happened? More enemies ahead. Oh god, hi bandits! Why? Why am I not attacking? I, I'm definitely not attacking. There we go. I don't know why that was happening. Oh god. It's been a while since I played. I've already let Alistair die. At least Zephron can level. And luckily, I have revival, so... Let's just go ahead and cast that, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, Alistair. J just a tad rusty. Oh no, I think the boy landed in a trap. So sad. Oh, I do miss Win because we had that good combo move. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll get her back. Let me know what you guys think. So I do know, I have technically played this game three times, but the first time was whenever I was like a middle schooler and I did not get very far at all. Oh, that, that was a trap. Good job, me. But uh, the first time I played, I did play as a Dalish elf, I believe. So this area does, does look like the right type of area. So this should be right. Oh. Hold, outsider. You may be of my kind, but you are not Dalish. Okay. Why are you here? I chose correctly. I have business with your leader, actually. And what business is that? Oh, I could persuade, but I could also just say I'm a Grey Warden. I'm just gonna say I'm a Grey Warden. That is not a lie that many would attempt. I will bring you to the Keeper then, and he can decide if your business is worthwhile. Okay, well, guess that was simple enough. Hmm. I see we have guests. Don't be rude, beefy boy. And a hound amongst them. As if we haven't had enough problems with such creatures. <laughs> Who oh, no. are these strangers, Mithra? I have precious little patience and less time to spend on outsiders today. This one claims to be a Grey Warden and wishes to speak with the clan. I thought it best to leave the decision to you. That was wise of you. Masirinus, Mithra, you may return to your post. Manuvenen, Keeper. Now, allow me to introduce myself. I am Zaphrian. The keeper of this clan, its guide and preserver of our ancient lore. And you are? My name is Saros. Pleasure to meet you. If you came to bring news of the Blight in the south, it is not needed. I had already sensed its corruption. I would have taken the clan north by now, had we the ability to move. Sadly, as you can see, we do not. Yes, it seems like you've had your own troubles. What are the odds? I imagine you are here regarding the treaty we signed centuries ago. Unfortunately, we may not be able to live up to the promise we made. This will require some explanation. Please, follow me. Oh no. Oh no. That's not good. The clan came to the Brazilian forest one month ago, as is our custom when we enter this part of Ferelden. We are always wary of the dangers in the forest, but we did not expect the werewolves would be lying in wait for us. Werewolves? They ambushed us. And though we drove the beasts back, much damage was done. Many of our warriors lie dying as we speak. Even with all our magic and healing skill, we will eventually be forced to slay our brethren to prevent them from becoming beasts. The oh, Blight's no. evil must be stopped. But we are in no position to uphold our obligations. I am truly sorry. Is there no way to help your men? The affliction is a curse that runs rampant in their blood, bringing great agony and then ultimately either death or a transformation into something monstrous. The only thing that could help them must come from the source of the curse itself. And that... that would be no trivial task to retrieve. Oh no. I'm good at non-trivial tasks. Within the Brazilian forest dwells a great boy is just like, no. We call him Witherfang. It was within him that the curse originated, and through his blood that it has been spread. If he is killed and his heart brought to me, perhaps I could destroy the curse. 
But this task has proven too dangerous for us. Oh no. I sent some hunters into the forest a week ago, but they have not returned. I cannot risk any more of my clan. I'll find this wither thing for you. I must warn you that more than werewolves lurk in the Brazilian forest. It has a history full of carnage and murder, you see. Where there is so much death, the veil separating the spirit realm from our own becomes thin, allowing spirits to possess things, living or dead. Hmm. But if you can indeed help, then I wish you luck. I don't like this. <laughs> I need some equipment. Why not? Then I suggest you see Master Verathorn. I will instruct him to put aside some supplies for you, the kind that the hunters use. Okay, I should go. I must return to caring for my people. Creator's speed on your way. Well, let's go ahead and level up Zevron. All right, I'll throw maybe one into cunning, one into constitution, and one into dexterity. Also, once again, can we just appreciate how creepy his little picture is? <laughs> And let's get him an extra combat tactic slot. I guess I'll give him combat movement? I don't really know. It just says, the quick stepping rogue can more easily outmaneuver opponents, granting a wider flanking angle that makes backstabs easier to achieve. That seems like it'd be pretty good for him, so we're gonna go with it. But there are a couple more quests around here that I should pick up. Uh, hello? Hello. Who are you? I'm Kamen, a hunter apprentice. Though I wish I could become a real hunter. Why can't you? I shouldn't be talking about this to an outsider. You wouldn't understand. Try me. I might surprise you. I suppose there's no harm in it. It's not like you can help me. I've been an apprentice for too long. To become a true hunter, I must bring back the pelt of the beast I killed myself. A boar or a wolf or something that I wanted to hunt in the forest but we're forbidden to enter because of the attack but uh. the real problem is Gaina what uh. <laughs> girl problems I see she's my heart's desire I have asked for her hand but she cruelly refuses it you're not she's even not leaning on that an tree apprentice, she says and calls me a child I am no child if I was a hunter, I could prove it, but I cannot I'm hunt. Child. And, and Gaina will never bond with me. I feel so helpless. I shouldn't have brought it up. Just leave me to my misery. There must be some way to solve your problem. You think I haven't thought about this? There's nothing I can do. Oh god. <laughs> I don't know what to do here. Why not go into the forest anyway? Because I don't want to just get a pelt for him. But also, like, if the lady's not interested, she's not interested, you know? Just go into the forest anyway. <laughs> But the keeper said, no, I just can't. What if I encountered a werewolf? I couldn't defeat one of those on my own. Oh no, have you tried wooing, Gaina? Wooing? I don't understand. Have you tried giving her a gift? A gift? No, that wouldn't be appropriate. N not before we're married. Oh, <laughs> how about really showing your love? I'm a little bit worried about this one because of the one below it. Uh... I've serenaded her, and we've talked many times under the moon. But that doesn't matter if I'm still an apprentice. Not to her. Let me think of something else, then. Such as? Oh, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to Gaina. I don't feel like it's right to just give him a pelt, you I know? I suppose you could, but what good would that do? The situation hasn't changed. I can be pretty persuasive. Really? I, I, I'm willing to try anything. It can't hurt. Siranas. Oh, ma Siranas. I will pray to the goddess of love that you are successful. What a loser. But I guess we'll we'll talk to her. I'm Darren Atitian outsider. You're a Gaina, correct? Cameron mentioned you. That might not be the you best thing to say, to but him? what did he say? All of these are terrible. I could say he said that you refused to give him your hand. Which I guess probably is the best one. He said that you are cruel and that he hates you. Or he said that if he was lucky, he would bed you soon. I'm, I'm just gonna say you refuse to give him your hand. Oh. I don't expect an outsider to understand our ways, but I just can't bond with Kamen. He's been a hunter apprentice for over two years now, and he's yet to slay a proper beast. Each time he's tried, something has gone wrong. Perhaps the creators do not wish us to bond. 
I cannot bond with an apprentice hunter, can I? If you love him, it doesn't matter what he is, does it? But what if he never becomes a proper hunter? What will become of our family? If you love him, then believe in him and help him succeed. Oh, you are right. I have made poor Cammy miserable. No wonder he cannot complete his hunt. Masiranas, thank you. You have helped me put this into perspective. I will go and speak to Kamen. That was so simple. Okay then. Oh? Kamen, I have been a fool. We're just gonna watch yeah? this. What, what do you mean? Have you changed your mind? I have. The outsider has helped me to see that I was wrong. I have made you miserable and I should not have. But what about my hunt? Oh, I don't care about that. I know you will pass your hunt in time and we will be happy. Us and our children. It's a little Thank straightforward. You, You've made me a happy man. I feel blessed by the gods today. How romantic. We are both very grateful for the part you've played in bringing us together. How marvelous you are. I am so happy. Here, take this. It's been in my family for a very long time, but I hope it plays some part in your battle against the Darkspawn. It's the very least we could do. All right. And it looks like there's another quest over here. Oh, look at the deer. It's so cute. Who comes? Oh, I beg your pardon, stranger. I was so busy attending to the Hala, I did not hear your approach. Who are you? My name is Alora. I am the master herder in charge of caring for the Hala. Not as exciting as being a Grey Warden, but the Hala are vital to us. What is the Hala? They are the noble beasts that pull our Aravel. What humans call land ships. They are our companions and our guides. They are not your mounts. <laughs> or you make them sound like friends. That's so mean. It's like Beefy Boy's my friend. Because they are not your mounts. We ride the Hala, but never with reins or a saddle. It is the Hala who decide where to lead us, and our privilege that they take our Aravel with them. Okay. In return, it's the herder's job to speak to the Hala and care for their needs. It's a bond of friendship, and not servitude. Oh, well that sounds nice, I guess. <laughs> so why have you separated this one from the others? I fear she may have been bitten during the werewolf attack. I have tried speaking with her, but she is too agitated for me to understand. The curse would not affect her as it would us, but it would still be lethal. And it may prove contagious to the other Hala as well. I can find no wound on her, but if she's truly ill, then... Then I will have to put her out of her misery. For her sake, as well as that of the others. Hmm. Is there anything I can do to help? I don't know. Do you have any skills that might help her? If you do, I would be grateful. Oh no. I don't know. I don't feel like I have very good survival. I, I don't know. It's Examiner. <laughs> he looks like he got and? a lot out of that. What do you think? Oh no, it'd be- Persuading would be a lie. I truly cannot tell. I'm glad you attempted it, regardless. Oh, well, let's try to calm her. No. No, I'm sorry. She oh, isn't so calming sad. any more around you than she is for me. I'm sorry, I tried my best. I really don't want to kill it. It's too cute. It was kind of you to try. But I feel like that's what the quest wants. Oh no. Okay. No. That would not be right. Okay, good. When the good. time comes, then I will do it myself. It is my duty, as both Master Herder and as... as her friend. Mm. She shall take her last breath, knowing she was always safest in my care. I'm so sad! But yeah guys, on that really depressing note, I think that's where I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode. I'm so sad we didn't get to heal it. It's so pretty, like, I want one. But yeah, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye <laughs>